Sunday, November the 21st, 2021. Christ the King Sunday, an affirmation of baptism, confirmation. Jesus is a king. His authority comes from the truth to which he bears witness. And those who recognize the truth listen to him. We look forward to the day he is given dominion, knowing his victory will be the nonviolent victory of love. Today, our confirmands, Anna Gillespie, Austin Marinelli, Taylor Roberts, and Caden Strauss, affirm the relationship God began with them in baptism. This is an important part of their faith formation, and we rejoice with them. The Lord be with you. As we gather to worship in various places and times, may we be blessed by God who forms us with word, sacrament, and community. Today's worship is being live-streamed and saved to YouTube, and that means that at times, worshipers may be visible in some of the shots. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Pastor Stephen Weber from St. Paul's Lutheran Church here in Cambridge, Ontario, and I'm glad to have you join us in whatever way today. Please uh, note that starting one week from today, we will require proof of vaccination for all those eligible for the vaccine for in-person worship. In order to facilitate this process, pre-registration for worship will continue to be required at least for a few weeks. And a reminder that we are collecting toques, mitts, and heavy work socks needed for Christmas bags to be given out through Trinity Community Table. There is a box at the back in the narthex for your donated items. Please bring them by Sunday, December the 5th. Undoubtedly, you've heard of the horrific flood in British Columbia. Our National Bishop Susan Johnson has asked us to join her in prayer, and so we will do so. Let us pray. Creating God. Your beautiful and fruitful world has been impacted by climate change in so many ways. We pray for the people of British Columbia who are affected by mudslides, landslides, and flooding. We especially pray for those who have been left isolated, cut off from clean water, essential goods, and the help that is urgently needed. In particular, we pray for Indigenous communities and for all communities that are re-traumatized after having already experienced devastating fires earlier this year. Lord, have mercy. Help us to respond with generous hearts. Hold your suffering people in strong and loving arms. Amen. We continue now with worship. Please rise as you're able. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, you have anointed your beloved Son to be priest and sovereign forever. Grant that all the people of the earth, now divided by the power of sin, may be united by the glorious and gentle rule of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. You may be seated, and I invite the children to come forward for the children's time. <laughs> Excellent. So, why don't you pick one of those green spots to sit on? Okay, good. Come on up. Can, uh, can you pick a green spot to sit on? And all the cousins can pick the same spot if you want. Okay, excellent. Okay, can you see me over here? <laughs> oh, it is so wonderful to have you here. You bring sunshine into the building, and it's been a long time. So thank you for joining us and for coming to the front. When many of you... Oh, excellent, so many more. That's, yes, excellent, guys. You know what? If I, if I want to, I could splash you with water today. <laughs> But I won't, because I'm, I'm trying to be nice today. Yeah. When many of you were little, your parents may have brought you to church 
and a pastor poured water over your head. The pastor may have used a fancy baptismal shell like this. So what's it called when a pastor pours water over your head? I bet you guys know, right? You're just shy of it. I can see from your, the sparkle in your eyes, that's true. Well, it's called baptism. And a lot happens to us in baptism besides getting wet. In baptism, God forgives you. God gives you the powerful Holy Spirit. God creates faith in you. And God adopts you into the family of God. So we have been adopted by God into a family, and that means not only are we a whole bunch of cousins, but we're also brothers and sisters. Yeah. And that's why baptism is such a big deal. That's a whole lot that happens in baptism. All that was done for you, and you didn't even know it if it was done when you were a baby. So when you're older, you'll have an opportunity to stand up in front of the congregation and say yes to God's adopting you in baptism. And that's what uh, the, those four young people in the white robes are going to do today. But you know, you don't have to wait until the day of your confirmation to say yes to God and to try to live the way that God wants you to live. Well, you can do that any time. And I hope that you do. And I hope that each one of us here this morning and throughout the week will consider the ways that we can say yes to God and live the way God wants us to live. So now I invite you to move into your favorite prayer posture. That's just a fancy way of saying, let's get ready to pray. So it may be hands open, eyes looking up to receive the gift of God's presence in prayer. It might be hands folded, like a steeple or like this, to, and eyes uh, head bowed to help you concentrate. Or it may be crossing your arms across your, your chest to form an X. It's the first letter of Christ in Greek, and it feels like a hug from God. Now let us pray. God, our loving parent, we thank you for adopting us in holy baptism. Help us to grow in faith and help our growing faith to be shown in acts of kindness, forgiveness, and love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, if you didn't get a children's bulletin on the way in, you can take a detour to that table in the middle of the aisle and pick up a children's bulletin that you're welcome to work on at any time, even while you're listening to the sermon. And now our confirmands, will share with us their chosen memory verse and also how they intend to, start their comp to fulfill their confirmation vows. And we're going to start with Anna. So as the kids head back, you can head up. Thanks for joining us. My memory verse is Matthew chapter 22, verses 37 through 39. Jesus said, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the greatest and first commandment. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. This is how I intend to fulfill my confirmation vow. To live among God's faithful people, I plan to help with property work such as planting flowers and painting. I plan to help with coffee hour and to help with Sunday school. To hear the word of God and share the Lord's Supper, I plan to go to worship with my parents and watch the worship videos. To pro proclaim the good news of God in Christ through word and deed, I plan to know that God loves me and to show others that they are loved and talk about church to others. To serve all people following the example of Jesus, I plan to be compassionate to others, help people in need, and, and to strive for justice and peace on earth, I plan to help out with our environmental problems, love people no matter their gender, sexuality, race, living situation, or anything else, and I plan to make sure that people know they are loved. Thank you, Anna. Austin.
My name is Austin Stephen Gino Marinelli. My memory verse is James chapter 1, verse 27. True devotion, the kind that is pure and faultless before God the Father, is this. To care for orphans and widows in their difficulties, and to keep the world from contaminating it. This is how I intend to fill my confirmation vows. To live among God's faithful people, I plan to become a Sunday school teacher, be a youth group helper, help with heavy lifting and property work. To hear the word of God and share in the Lord's Supper, I plan to come to worship at least once a month, read verses of the Bible once a week, and watch the worship videos that I missed. To, pro to proclaim the good news of God in Christ through word and deed, I plan to remember God's love by showing love to others, remind people of their loved ones by reminding them that they're with them in mind and spirit, and talk about my experience in church, to serve all people following the example of Jesus, I plan to help my parents with their troubles, help my brother to show how I can forgive him in the same way as God forgives us, and help my friends who have trouble with something. And to strive for justice and peace in all the earth, I plan to help all those who need help in the world, help the elements and the earth, and to help those who need it more than me. Thank you, Austin. Taylor? My name is Taylor Peyton Roberts. My memory verse is Roman chapter 6, verse 3 and 4. Do you know that all of us who have been baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? Therefore, we have been buried with him by baptism into death. So that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, so we might so we might to walk in the nuisance of life. This is how I, inti I intend to fulfill my confirmation vows. Live among God's faithful people. I plan to help, be in, help by being an acolyte, help by being a Sunday school teacher or helper. To hear the words and share in the Lord's Supper, I plan to come to worship uh, with family every Sunday watch the worship on YouTube, to proclaim the good news of God and uh, Christ the word indeed. I plan to trust and trust that God accepts us for us, show God what uh, by wearing a cross, believe uh, that God forgets us, to serve all people following the example of Jesus, Jesus I plan to show compassion to people, help people that actually need our help, and to serve for justice and peace in all the earth. I plan to helping people take out all the trash from our oceans, donate to people who need help, and give food who need give people food who need it. Thank you, Taylor. Hayden. My name is Caden Owen Strauss. My memory verse is Psalm 121, verse 1 and 2. I lifted up my eyes to the hills, from where will my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. This is how I intend to fulfill my confirmation vows. To live among God's faithful people, I plan to donate to charities, support the less fortunate, and take patience with the struggling people. To hear the words of God and share the Lord's Supper, I plan to pray every night, Think of God when the right time is, and go to church whenever possible. To proclaim, to proclaim the good news of God in Christ through words and deeds, I plan to volunteer, stand up for people who are bullied, and talk about God to all people if they're okay with it. To serve all people following the example of Jesus, I, I plan to be kind and respectful to people and treat everybody as you would treat your family members. And to strive for justice and peace in all the earth, I plan to speak for others when needed and help everyone if needed. Thank you, Caden.
the kingdom of Christ. In John's Gospel, the story of Jesus and Pilate presents two different ways of exercising power, through force or with love. Please rise as you're able for the Gospel reading. The Holy Gospel, according to John. Pilate entered the headquarters again, summoned Jesus, and asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus answered, Do you ask this on your own, or did others tell you about me? Pilate replied, I am not a Jew, am I? Your own nation and the chief priests handed you over to me. What have you done? Jesus answered, My kingdom is not from this world. If my kingdom were from this world, my followers would be fighting to keep me from being handed over to the Jews. But as it is, my kingdom is not from here. Pilate asked him again, So you are king? Jesus answered, You say that I am king. For this I was born. And for this I came into the world to testify to the truth. Everyone who belongs to the truth listens to my voice. The Gospel of the Lord. You may be seated. Today, in addition to celebrating the affirmation of faith by four of our young people, Anna, Austin, Taylor, and Caden, today we also celebrate Christ the King Sunday. But the world sure does not look like Christ is indeed King. The climate crisis is making it so difficult for those in British Columbia and threatens many others around the world. Wildfires, droughts, and now unimaginable flooding. Christ sure doesn't seem to reign over nature. On Friday, it was reported that our COVID numbers are continuing to go in the wrong direction, with almost 800 new cases occurring that day. God doesn't seem to reign over health. Increasing gun violence in Waterloo Region and skyrocketing housing prices make, it, make home ownership seem but an impossible dream to young people just starting out. It sure doesn't look as if Christ is king. Clearly, Jesus was correct then in saying that his kingdom was not from this world. Clearly, Jesus is a different kind of king. The kind of king we usually envision is a king like Caesar Augustus, for example, who ruled at the time Jesus was born. Rome's plan, the Pax Romana, was to bring peace through the violent conquering of enemies. And that violent peace was kept, Caesar held on to his power, through crucifixion. Anyone who dared to defy the power and authority of Caesar would be executed in this public and humiliating way as a warning to others. And so it is that Jesus is executed for being the king of the Jews. Crucifixion was Rome's way of maintaining peace. Well, in contrast to Caesar's violent way of obtaining peace through conquest, is Jesus' way of creating peace through social justice. Give people a fair share of the world's resources. Ensure that everyone has what they need to survive and to thrive. Only then does peace become a possibility. And God calls us to partnership in this endeavor. And that's what today's affirmation of baptism is all about. Partnership with God. Supported by living in a community of God's faithful people. Formed by the word of God and the Lord's Supper. We are called and enabled to go into the world and make a difference. To proclaim the good news of God in Christ through word and deed to serve all people following the example of Jesus, and to strive for justice and peace in all the earth. Each time we manage to do this with God's power, it begins to look more indeed like Christ is King, the reigning King. Each time we do this, there will be a deep peace. Each time we do this, God's kingdom comes on earth as in heaven. So today's good news is you confirmands. 
or more accurately, today's good news is God working in and through you to reign, to bring about social justice, to create peace, and to make manifest the kingdom of God. You contramans are a part of God's plan for God's kingdom to come on earth as in heaven. Anna, Austin, Taylor, and Caden, what a joy it is to witness your affirmation and your promises today. May God help you to further the kingdom and make a wonderful difference, a beautiful difference, in the world God so dearly loves. Watch out, world. Here they come. And the people said, Amen. Our hymn of the day is You Are Mine. It's number 581 in Evangelical Lutheran Worship, and it will be on the screen. Please rise as you're able. You may be seated. The liturgy for the affirmation of baptism is on page 234 in the front of Evangelical Lutheran worship and on the screen.
Let us pray. Merciful God, we thank you for these sisters and brothers whom you have made your own by water and the word in baptism. You have called them to yourself, enlightened them with the gifts of your Holy Spirit, and nourish them in the community of faith. Uphold your servants in the gifts and promises of baptism, and unite the hearts of all whom you have brought into new birth. We ask this in the name of Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Confirmands, I ask you to respond together as a group as you profess your faith in Christ Jesus, reject sin, and confess the faith of the church. You renounce the devil and all the forces that defy God. Do you renounce the powers of this world that rebel against God? Do you renounce the ways of sin that draw you from God? I address the assembly in inviting you to rise as you're able. I ask all gathered here, do you believe in God the Father? I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God? I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered in a Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he will come to judge the living and the dead. You believe in God, the Holy Spirit. I believe, I believe in, the in the Holy Spirit, Spirit the Holy Catholic, Catholic Church, Church, the communion, communion of saints, saints, the forgiveness of sins, sins the resurrection, resurrection of the body, and the life, life everlasting. Amen. Confirmands, you have made public profession of your faith. Do you intend to continue in the covenant God made with you in holy baptism, to live among God's faithful people, to hear the word of God and share in the Lord's Supper? to proclaim the good news of God in Christ through word and deed, to serve all people following the example of Jesus, and to strive for justice and peace in all the earth, I will invite you to answer individually, starting with Anna. Austin. Taylor. Caden. People of God, do you promise to support these sisters and brothers and pray for them in their lives in Christ? If so, answer, we do, and we ask God to help and guide us. We do, and we ask God to help and guide us. You may be seated. And as Anna comes forward, I invite her family and sponsors to come forward, too. Anna Elaine Gillespie, baptized August the 8th, 2008. Parents are Aidan and Alice Gillespie, and baptismal sponsors are Esther Paulson and Amy Fraser. Now let us pray. We give you thanks, O God, that through water and the Holy Spirit, you give us new birth cleanse us from sin, and raise us to eternal life. Stir up in Anna Elaine the gift of your Holy Spirit, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and fear of the Lord, the spirit of joy in your presence, both now and forever. Amen. Austin, Stephen, Gino, Marinelli. I invite his family and sponsors to come up too. Baptized November the 18th, 2012. Parents are Jennifer and Tony Marinelli. Baptismal sponsors are Beth Gleister and Stephen Richard. Now let us pray. We give you thanks, O God, that through water and the Holy Spirit, you give us new birth, cleanse us from sin, and raise us to eternal life. Stir up in Austin, Stephen, Gino, the spirit of your, the power, the gift of your Holy Spirit, 
the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and fear of the Lord, the spirit of joy in your presence, both now and forever. Amen. Taylor Caton Roberts. Baptized September 7, 2008. Parents are Jeffrey and Rita Roberts. Baptismal sponsor, sponsors are Garrick and Ajana McBride. Let us pray. We give you thanks, O God, that through water and the Holy Spirit, you give us new birth, cleanse us from sin, and raise us to eternal life. Stir up in Taylor Caton the gift of your Holy Spirit, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and fear of the Lord, the spirit of joy in your presence, both now and forever. Amen. Caden Owen Strauss. Baptized May the 3rd, 2009. Parents are Allison and Brian Strauss. Baptismal sponsors are Chris and Laura Tepperman, Templeman. Let us pray. We give you thanks, O God, that through water and the Holy Spirit, you give us new birth, cleanse us from sin, and raise us to eternal life. Stir up in Caden Owen, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord, the spirit of joy in your presence, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, both now and forever. Amen. Excellent. Turning now to the bottom of page 236 and on the screen, let us rejoice with these sisters and brothers in Christ. We rejoice with you in life of baptism. Together we will give thanks and praise. Eternal God, you hold firm among the changes of this world. Hear us now as we pray for the church, the world, and everyone in need, saying, God, in your love, and responding, hear our prayer. God, you sent your Son, Jesus, to testify to the truth. We pray, pray for preachers, missionaries, evangelists, and teachers who carry your forgiveness and love to the world. Fill their words and actions with compassion and kindness so that your truth will shine. God, in your love, hear our prayer. God, you sent your Son, Jesus, to liberate all of creation. We pray for all living things longing for the freedom to flourish, from ancient trees and wild grasses to endangered animals and rare insects. Give human beings compassionate hearts to care for all that you have made. God, in your love, Hear our prayer. 
God, you sent your son Jesus to lead us into the way of peace. Direct the members of international alliances in choosing a nonviolent path toward the future. Give them the humility and wisdom to make just decisions to benefit all. God, in your love, hear our prayer. God, you sent your Son, Jesus, to make us into your own people, set free to serve you. We pray for the people who serve the well-being of others. Renew them in their work. God, in your love, hear our prayer. God, you sent your Son, Jesus, to rule in all times and places. We pray for the friends of our congregation who are unable to join us in worship in person. We pray for all who are sick and suffering, and we pray for all in need. Join their prayers with ours and unite them with us in the body of Christ. God, in your love, hear our prayer. God, you sent your Son, Jesus, to call us to loving servanthood. Bless the work of all who help in providing vaccinations. Keep our frontline workers safe and give them much needed rest. Move us each to do our own part in following the guidance of our public health authorities so that our health system does not become overwhelmed. God, in your love, hear our prayer. God, you sent your Son, Jesus, to be our beginning and ending. We give thanks for those whose lives have given us a glimpse of Jesus' reign of justice and peace. Empower us to join their witness. God, in your love, hear our prayer. God, our hope and strength, we entrust to you all for whom we pray. Remain with us always, through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Amen. And now we are bold to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The peace of Christ be with you always. We share that peace. Just a reminder to stay in place and turn and bow to those nearest you. receive the blessing. God, the beginning and the end, who has written your name in the book of life, bless and keep you in grace and peace from this time forth and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Our sending song is, O Jesus, I have promised. It's number 810 and on the screen.
on by the saints before us. Go in peace to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. And I ask you to be seated while you wait to be ushered out.